Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. You're back with that. Back in today, we're playing some more Dyson Sphere program. So, in our last episode, we were still trying to up our game with the rocket production. We're kind of getting there. We're whittling down the uh, the possibilities of what's causing the issues. Um, we limited it down more towards hydrogen and deuterium. So, we picked out a new system last episode. I've gone to a completely different system. Apologies. <laughs> Um, it was this one that we picked out, wasn't it? Yes, hydrogen and deuterium. Instead, I had a bit more of a look round after and found the system that we're at at the minute, which has got crude oil, organic crystals, and spiny formed stalagmite crystals, which we also need. And that is the planet that we're on, admittedly. The hydrogen and deuterium is from this gas giant, which these are the only two planets in this system. So we're going to be able to conquer these pretty quickly. As you can see, I've set the hub up, up here. I have actually already got the hydrogen and the deuterium coming in. Um, it's it's literally all from the gas giant. I was hoping there'd be like an ocean of it. But if I go onto the map for just this planet, as you can see, ocean type is water. I was hoping for an ocean of hydrogen, but never mind. I only want to set a few things up here. Here. Oh, the common accent is coming out. And it will be these crystals, which is... Do, do, do. There might be three veins of that on here. Right, that's all the stalagmite crystals. So let's get all of these and get sending them back. I do need to come onto this planet and hook all the iron and everything up at some point. And I am going to do it in as nice a way as possible. To not destroy too much of the uh, terrain around, but... Yeah, this is going to be another bit of a uh, resource gathering episode. Well, I'm only going to set these few things up and then we're going to go back. Because I want to see what the next thing is that we're going to have to sort out. So we can get more and more rockets coming in. That one can go there and that can go there. Where was the other crystals? I could run them across there. The other crystals are all the way over there. Now, I'm actually, <clears throat> and this may be silly to do, but I'm going to try and conserve the warpers a little bit. I'm going to be using the um, non-interstellar ones, in fact. I'm going to give them one each, <clears throat> because why not, right? And we've got... Let's do these four on this side. And go to there and in. And let's make sure we hook these up. And you and you. Then we can do these four as one on this side. Like that. And in and in. And in. I'm going to do a global hub on here. Uh, what are we farming here? The organic crystals. Not kimberlite. Oh, they're here. Organic crystals. Yes. And you can have some boats. Or bots to a normal person, I guess. I'm not actually that bothered how the power connects up. Well, we might as well try and go down the um, meridian lines. Prime meridians, as Nil House calls them. And from there, we can hook you. Ooh. Oh, that didn't place. Damn it. Oh, that is nice. Ah, uh, this next one's not going to be quite as nice, and then you're going to be terrible. Um, that didn't quite hook up, did it? It says it's going to hook up there. There we go. Um, then we want to connect up this one. I need more of these coming in anyway, and to be fair, I don't think one million's really going to last that long. We didn't get that many on the other planet, so I'm really going to have to keep in front of this if I want the nanotube thingamajigs to keep going. Otherwise, we're going to end up with problems. And we do not want problems, if we can help it anyway. Uh, can you slot in about... Oh, hand twitched a little bit then. Uh, I'll do fine just going to flatten this little bit off here as well. No! We don't want concrete on the planet. Holy Christ. I'm trying to make as little impact as possible. And you can go there. We'll just quickly hook around uh, this way like so. And you can go straight in there. 
I should probably set these up somewhat better for later down the line. Because <clears throat> again, we are going to want to uh, hook other things into these. But again, it's to try and save my warpers. If I'm sending everything to a central hub, it's going to be able to get back easier. And you are doing the spiny form stalagmite crystals. You can have some of them. Let's just pull the power all the way across here. I don't think this is going to put the biggest dint in our hydrogen problem. And obviously what we're doing right this second is going to put no dint in our hydrogen problem. And deuterium problem. But it's a start. It's a start. You can go there. I wonder. It's not going to get this one at the bottom. No. It's fine. It's fine. <clears throat> now, have I got one of these up here that's completely empty? Yes. Yes, I do. You can have some of them and some of them. You're going to demand and supply. Oh, you're going to also want... It's already got warpers. Ignore what I was about to say there. You're also going to want these. And you're going to demand and supply. Yeah. It's just going to look neater if I do it like this, isn't it? Apart from the giant things coming all the way across the planet. The power lines, but... Yeah. To be fair, after I've been on here and... Why does it keep... Well, it's because I'm clicking on it. That's why it keeps doing it like that. Once I've set up on here, you're probably never going to see this planet, if I'm being completely honest. So this, take it in. It's probably the last time you're going to see it. Uh, let's go there instead. And there. 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 I'm wondering if I can get two in there if I go like that. And like that. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. And you can come anywhere really. Just slap it down. It, it does annoy me that it keeps doing that on that first one. But whatever really. You go in there like that. I did join the other ones up on the other one didn't I? I'm fairly sure I did. We should really go and have another look just to make sure. And you come around this way. This is what I mean though. Once I get into a pattern... Connecting these up does get dead quick. There you go there. You're going to be doing the organic crystals. You can have some of these. And that's it. Uh, let's just make sure I've not passed any of the other organic crystals on the way. No, the other ones are down there. Right by the south pole, god damn it. I don't suppose we're like no one of the meridian line thingamajigs. No, not really. Well, let's do one of them there. And we'll bring this just back up. Just the biggest distance. Screw it. We're not going to mess about trying to get it all perfect. Because at the end of the day, again, we're not going to be here that long. And to be fair, me hooking all the other resources up will be done off camera. I only wanted to show you getting these rare resources because they're rare resources. And there. Oh, I was looking on YouTube today at work while I was uh, on my break at some of the designs people have got for their uh, Dyson spheres. I thought mine looked pretty cool, but holy Christ, it's not going to patch on some of them. Absolutely doesn't have a patch. Put all the silicon on here, holy Christ. Excuse me. Yeah. I may have to up my game with my uh, sphere design, maybe. Will that get that bottom one? It will. I won that side as well, then. And the last one is closer to the south pole. It's actually around this way. There we go cool and then that's like what five million more organic crystal every time five million more organic crystals set up that should last us for a little bit right I, i'm not gonna like the placing on this one am i let's go there oh this is just horrible there 
there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just so I've got another one. Eight. And we can have you. Round about there, why not? I've wanted to be using these for a while. Because it seems... I mean, yes, they go into the bigger ones, which we use all the goddamn time, but surely there should be more of a use for these. Yes, they don't have as much storage as the bigger ones, and they can't transport across the different planets, but... Well, technically, these all count as little storage chests, don't they? In a weird way. Uh, you, and there you go. Let's reorganise that. Let's get the power in first, and then I can run it backwards. Missed you. Got you. Uh, where's the nearest power? Really? That one's there. That one's there. It's probably going to be that way. Across to this one. No, it'd make more sense to just go straight up, wouldn't it? Let's get rid of them. Yeah, let's just go straight up. Ooh, land, please. There you go, and there you go. I'm going to go straight into a goddamn pond, aren't I? I was going to say, this is taking me up to the pole, isn't it? I'm not just going around the planet, because that would be embarrassing. Just going all the way around the equator. At least I'm going to have some power lines for when I come back, right? Oh, no. Now, go there. Now you can jump across here. I'm going to need two more, aren't I? Go there and there. Um, local demand remote supply. I did give you some of those, didn't I? Oh, that's the hydrogen. So that's... I'm pulling it from this planet. Wait, no, sorry. Should I explain, explain the hydrogen and deuterium? I've got to remote demand it. That actually makes no sense, because I'll be pulling that from other places, won't I? I've basically got to be able to pull it from the planet. And to get it from this planet, that seems the most sensible thing. That's... I've broke my system by doing this, haven't I? Because otherwise, I'm going to have to get a warped ship to come all the way out, just to come to this planet. Uh, I think I've somewhat broken this. Um, must equip warpers. No, I don't want them to equip warpers. If the travel distance reaches the distance to enable warpers, the vessel won't departure until it's equipped space warpers. The space warpers can be equipped and activated by vessels automatically if the distance is reached. That's all I want it to collect from. I don't think there's any way to track where I'm pulling this from, either. Let's zoom out. See, I can't tell if they're coming from... Well, we'll be able to see if it starts warping. It's warping, and I've just disabled warping. So I've got the one thing pulling the hydrogen and deuterium from this planet, and then the other ones are sending it back. All right, we need to then set all, uh, this one, which we've already got set up. Local demand remote supply. Local demand remote supply. Good. I think we're good to leave this uh, godforsaken place then, and go back to Kafa. Where are we? There. You know, the place that's got the great big string of um, 
things warping in and out. Yes. Things are coming together. Right, let's see what the next problem is. I fully expect we... Don't hit your microphone on. We're going to still have a problem with hydrogen and deuterium. I'm sure that's what we're going to have a problem with. If so, though, again, we found that system yesterday that's just next to us, that beta pydix, or pydix, or whatever it's called. We could always go there and set up more hydrogen deuterium farming as well, which we might be doing if this is still having issues. Uh, let's go here first to see how the deuterium fuel line, well, deuterium fuel rod line's going. And we did that past the end of the oil. I mean, you did have enough deuterium. How about a ring up here? How are you doing? It's getting the hydrogen. We need to up this, don't we? Rather than keep trying to farm more deuterium. It is called deuterium, isn't it? Deuterium. Yeah. I mean, hydrogen's circling around. And both the rings are being filled from there. I mean, I'd say I can't believe it's not keeping up, but I, I kind of can believe it's not keeping up, to be honest with you. I think if we're doing another ring, it's got to be on the outside of this one, hasn't it? So, what do I need? It is the fractionators. Um, no. No. Where did I put them? Fractionator. Oh, I might need a hundred of these. Let's try it out, shall we? So, I'm going to want... Uh, it'd be hydrogen coming out here. I'm not bothered about the slight kink in the line, don't worry. Really, I want the deuterium to go on the line in the middle. And I don't have that looping round, do I now? So let's just start that there. And we'll say it's finishing off here. Does this need to be there? Uh, kind of yes. Also kind of no, though, because I can just do that. You're going to go in like that. Let's just chop this out a little bit. Because what I could have actually done around here is use splitters. It would have got awkward though, wouldn't it? That's why we didn't use it. They are both going the same way as well, aren't they? It's where the deuterium's going to go. <sighs> Screw it, let's just have it go over the top. So, you would... Do I want to try and keep these in line? I'd rather start a new line like this. Well, a new pattern, sorry, like this. How are we doing for power on this planet? I've not checked in a while. It's getting worse. How is it getting worse? Our sphere is getting more and more finished. Well, it kind of is getting more and more finished. Um, ma, 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 ma. So, hydrogen will come down to there. Like so. Wow. Yeah, they've not got power, so it won't work. Ooh. Am I going to have to move power if I do that? Yeah. Well, the other power's not on a proper line either. I don't want to come too far out because I like this having the space around it. 
for it. Let's come out one more line. You're going to come out to there. Like so. And you can come this way around. And then we shouldn't have... Oh, it just bumped me. Yeah, we shouldn't have the problem there like that. You can go in like that. Uh, you're going to come down here to about there. Go up, get cut back one, go down. Let's see where these need to be. I don't think I'm meant to have been able to do that. <laughs> it looks kind of weird, but... And then you can loop round continuously like that. You know what? It'd make loads more sense if we just had the deuterium line go up. Rather than doing all this faffing. Which you're going to have to come to about there. You're going to have to go up anyway. You're going to have to get to this point. And then you're going to have to go down. But then I've got that problem right there as well. Yeah. Uh, Then you can go back round. I know it's an absolute shambles. I could make that neater. I could make that so much neater, actually, but me. It'll be fine. Right, let's go and stamp down loads of these. Now, before I keep doing this, I should really get the belts in first because I don't want to screw it up. Although, I have been known to place an entire system down and then screw it up. It's like, really, do I need that much hydrogen at the minute? I, yes, I still need hydrogen, but deuterium is more important. So the more we can get into this system, surely the more we're just going to get bumping out. Does that make any sense at all? I don't know. I lost track of what I was saying halfway through it. It's a bad habit not listening to yourself. Um... Yeah, the only things these can do is that, right? Cool, so. There you go. It may take a second to get all these done. But we are building the belt ahead of us as we're going, so. It's going to disrupt my beautiful power supply. So I'm going to have to put twice as many poles in. Or I could just use the bigger poles, but I don't actually think they'd fit in the middle of here. Collides with other object. Nope. Maybe I could have bigger poles on the outside. We'll see. We'll see. Let's get all the uh, fractionators down first. And then get all the belts going around. Then we'll deal with... Well, we're going to deal with power poles. We're not dealing with power. Pick your words there very carefully. Because I don't think me fixing power on this planet is going to be a quick fix. And we've still not got the strange matter generators, well, system up and running properly. This might be why it's better to just spread out and build on different planets. Or I could just have more, like, power generation on this planet. But then I'm going to have to use the deuterium fuel rods, which I don't want to do. Or we could just work towards the final power form, which is the, the miniature suns. Which I'm fairly sure, if I'd actually put the effort into researching, I'd be able to make by this point. I already know where they're going, by the way. Hopefully. I've got enough room left in the middle. I only know about them due to Nilhaus's uh, series. And you go there. We should be able to work out in a second just how many more of these we're going to need. So I've used 80. So I'm going to need another 60. There's 59 and 1. <gasps> I didn't need the last one. Because of that one there. No. I may delete one. 
and you're going to come around this way like this just basically mirroring it across yes i'm gonna have to do all the belts in a second and yeah this is probably something that i could and should have got done off camera but we're trying to fix one of my well we're trying to fix the biggest system that i've got going or at least keep the uh the supplies flowing for it I could just go and hook up a million different planets and then all the resources would all come in forever and everything would be hunky-dory, but A, that would take me hours to do. That's not really the problem. Well, it is. I am at work again at the minute. I'm not on holiday. Um, it'd take me hours to do. And Do we really want to just get everything coming in and then never have any more problems? Sometimes it's nice to deal with these problems. It adds a bit of uh, spice to it. I say that, and then I fully regret it when something goes wrong. Although, if it's something that I've caused, then yeah. Well, then it's things even more. I should know better by this point. What are we on? 85 hours playtime in the bottom left corner there. That's how long we've got on this save, and what episode's this? 46? 46 episodes at 30 minutes each. That should be like 23 hours playtime. I've put 60 hours playtime at 60 hours into this game off camera. Holy Christ. It, it's just one of them games. It just draws you in. Right. You are good. I got two too many, actually. Two too lol. Damn it. I meant to do that. Uh, let's do this in some sort of organized fashion. Oh my god, this is going to be a nightmare, isn't it? There, there. There, there. There, there. Beautiful. Yeah, there'll probably be a bit less commentary now. I'm making sure I don't screw any of it up. And yes, I will concrete underneath it in a minute. Give me a second. One thing at a time, I'd like to get the system running first, you know, with the lack of power that I've already got. You go there. I'm fairly sure, by the way, when I last set the, um, the furnace things up, didn't I build the little furnaces? Because there's the bigger furnaces, and I didn't realise until I redid all of the hub that there's a bigger furnace. Or just take more fuel rods and stuff, in which case then I can't do it anyway. Come on. Come on. I'm getting quicker, but I'm still trying to do it at a pace where I'm fairly sure I'm not making any mistakes. Oh, wouldn't it be nice if I had blueprints? Not that I've got a blueprint to just copy into this. I'd still have had to have done it this one time at least, but... What is this going to look like? I'm thinking some sort of Transformers. Isn't the one that looks like it's got a planet that's got a load of spiraling... I'm not sure which one I'm thinking of. Transformers one? Yeah, there's the big one at the end that destroys the pyramid. I, I kind of got bored of Transformers very quickly. The first one I went and got to see for free because it was um, part of our co college initiation thing. We had to pick out five graphical flaws with the movie. And the one that I really didn't pay any attention to, but most of the nerds in the class did. I myself am a nerd, so nobody get offended by it. Um, when at the start they're fighting the scorpion thingamajig, and they fire the um, sabo rounds or whatever they are from the plane, the, the sand should have apparently turned to glass with the heat that comes from those styles of missiles not something that I knew I enjoyed the movie back then it was good the first one and then it all went downhill looks like Fast and Furious really isn't it anyway we won't go on to that sort of topic because I'm probably just going to upset some people if I say what movies I like and don't like right so this one should be easier because now we're just going from the middle and out no, we're not. What am I doing? Right. 
Right. Let, let's not get confused by this. It's not difficult, Dank. Come on. You've got this. We've set up much more complex systems than this. And please go there. You need to go like that and in. That's better. Now we're getting the rhythm back. Then we'll do power. Then we'll floor it out. And then it'll probably be an episode because we're already past 30 minutes. So I, I do need to do some stuff off camera on this. I do need to try and get the hydrogen and deuterium problem under control. This is just a, a like brief snippet, I guess, of what I will be doing to try and control it. I don't think I'll be expanding this factory anymore. I kind of need to stop expanding any factories on this planet anymore. I have not got the power for it. Um, and if the power keeps dropping, then production on this planet is going to get slower and slower. The rocket's going to get fired slower and slower. The Dyson Sphere is going to get built slower and slower. And, you know, it's a vicious cycle that we've dealt with already a couple of times in this series. And I'd rather not deal with it a third time if possible. Come on. Surely we've got to be most of the way around by now. I've only got 300 belts left. I came to this planet with like a thousand or 800 or something like that. The beauty about this system being a complete circle is we'll know if it's not working. Well, the hydrogen side of it. Because it won't make a full circle. Come on, we're nearly there. Maybe I better put the big power on the outside in line with where the, where the small powers are. And it won't look out of place. That sound coming from the left there as it's um, breaking stuff down. After a while, it's really started to grate on me. Hopefully we'll not be around this, um, this system for too much longer. I don't even know if you guys are better to hear it, but because I've got headphones on and my sound is fairly loud. I don't, well, I like the music in this game. It's rather soothing, I find. Um, I can hear that sound literally right in my ear. That's kind of what headphones do. Stupid. Yeah, I know. I know. There we go. Come on. We've nearly done. Oh, don't mess up at the final hurdle. Don't mess up at the final hurdle. Uh, there you go. There you go. Oh. And there. Boom. Right, we know this is going absolutely no further, so... Yeah, that'll cover all of it. It's back on this line, isn't it? Yeah. I might even be able to get rid of that ring on the inside, but... Can I go every two? I can go every two. And still cover all of them. Oh, look how smooth that transition is there. I could actually get rid of the power for all of these things as well, couldn't I? Not quite. I would need one every one, but then I could get rid of all the power poles there. I'm not that bothered. Although, power poles do use a small amount of energy still, don't they? It'll be fine. Excuse me. The, the dude says, with massive power problems already. Yeah, it's just a little bit more energy. Who cares? Yeah, probably. Probably should be me that cares. I mean, that one doesn't need to be there. I put it there so it looked pretty. You know what? I like it there. It's staying there. It looks pretty. Right, that's all of them running. Please tell me you're chewing through the hydrogen now. It looks like it's making more deuterium. Doesn't look like the hydrogen's managing to filter all the way around yet. Why have you stalled out? Because of this one right here. That's the ticket. This is what I mean. We can quite easily tell if it's not making it all the way. Because it's not looping back round on itself. <clears throat> I'll tile this out off camera. In fact, this should be dead easy to tile because it's the edge of the border there. Uh, it looks like the hydrogen's making it all the way. Uh, 
I do think this is going to look pretty when I finally zoom out. Let's not go over the lines. Come on, stay inside them. There's a good tag. They do get right in your camera sometimes, don't they? Surely I'm nearly all the way around by now. Yes. And just to double check. Hydrogen is in fact making it all the way around. It is actually stalled there. Oh no, how many of those have I done that for? I was wondering why there wasn't loads of it coming out. Let's just let it do one more full lap. I hope I've not made too many mistakes like that. I mean, I shouldn't have done. It's still chewing through deuterium. What the deuce? This is stalled again. What? Seriously? Come on, I'm trying to up my production here, not keep stalling it. I mean, hopefully it was all the, just these first few that I messed up. Them lines are still flowing to me. Surely they would have stalled out by this point. Uh, this line's flowing, this line's flowing, you're flowing, and you're flowing. Everything is flowing. And we're still not producing enough. Uh, it does look cool, though. I like that. That looks dead nice. Um, but still, we need to stop building on this planet because it's just getting absurd. Where are we? Please tell me it's at least starting to fill it up. I'm going to give you warpers. Local demand do nothing. Have a few of them. So I'm thinking you can go and get the deuterium from the other place because this should, I think, be the only place that is requesting deuterium at all. And if you've got that much coming in, and that's including rockets as well, then it should get here nice and quickly, hopefully. I mean, we're not running out of hydrogen and most of this is an endless supply, so happy days, but... Look at that. There's a full belt coming in. That will be a problem for a second. When these stall out, it will obviously stop all the others. Then the belt will clear. Then it will keep going. I never thought about that. That they could produce more than 30 per second. Holy Jesus. We're actually chewing through the hydrogen. What the hell. Seems like I'm going to have to go and do this a few more times. This is what I mean. Look. When the line breaks, when these stall, the hydrogen stalls, these will get time to push through. Yeah, well, that's where we're going to have to leave it for today's episode. I will go and try and do more fixing off camera and get more hydrogen and deuterium coming in. And to think, I wanted to up my game with more deuterium fuel rods being produced. Fairly certain I will not be able to do that. Because the second it comes into this place, it also goes out of this place. So, never mind. We've made an attempt and that's where we're going to cut. Well, let's have a look at the sphere before we call it an episode. Let's see what it looks like now. Mmm, it's getting there. It is getting there. That is such a nice view. Are we, have we got rockets being fired properly yet either? I mean, it's constantly firing rockets, which is a good sign. We've got more deuterium coming in, so the rockets should be coming out more frequently. It's getting better. It's getting better, and we're on 4.55 gigawatts of power. But we're still needing... Requested... We're still needing nine. That's going up. Why does that go up all the time? 
Surely you should stay the same, goddammit. Well, no, because as, my, as we get more power, they're going to bring these back up to speed a bit more, aren't they? But yeah, until these are at 100% satisfaction, this is going to be a nightmare. Maybe I'm going to have to sort it somehow so that I can get the um, thingy crystals in here. The only way I'm going to be able to do it is on one of these sides, but I don't think I'd be able to get the splitters in between here, although I wouldn't need the splitters in between there. That would be tight. I might have to look into that, see if we can get the um, the lenses, the graviton lenses in around here. Because it would increase the amount of power they're pulling in. I'll look into it off camera and we'll see. Anyway, I've rambled on for enough. That's where we're going to leave it off for today's episode. So thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see some moral comments and feedback. Greatly appreciated. As always, and other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.